morning. Today we had, yesterday, I can say we had a little rain, but we didn't have enough. Because we just got, I guess you could see little, little corners right here of water from rainfall. So if it's that much in here, right down there, then that's how much the plants got. It still looks like it's gonna rain again. But to be sure that the plants get what they need to get right now, I'm gonna give them another dose of water, say about uh, three cups of water for each pot. That should be enough to hold them at least they need at least two or three days of rain and it looks like it's just going to be one day of rain which is monday today's saturday so we'll see we'll see watermelon coming in pretty good like you need more space let me move this back here hopefully they get bigger I'm hoping to have about three or four come out of there. There's one under there, right there. And my understanding, the round ones are the male, I mean the female, and the long ones are the male. It's like nature, or just like life, just like all around is a yin and yang, male and female. Which begets life. Life begets life. Stand by. Okay. Everybody's been watered pretty good. Got a bit, bit pretty good on my my leg. I gotta put some alcohol on it. Cool it down. But everybody's got water. Going down to the catchment pretty good. Everything looks good. This corn's coming up like it should. Right there. As you can see, the corn stalk, corn, ear of corn coming up. Now, of course, the bird station seed water I would put more seed out but it's going to rain so I don't want it getting too wet what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab me some maggots for the fish stand by okay kind of raised up a bit now to extract the old maggots they really dig in the fruits and vegetables. You can see what I'm picking up. Don't want it, no too much hard stuff. Just the maggots. They're easy squirm and let me know where they are. But I also know what they look like. I mean, you can really see them. It's not like they're trying to hide. Eventually, I'll raise this up because I have a lot of compost underneath. which I know I can extract the, the worms from it. It's amazing. I mean, these, um, insects 
basically have eaten or tried to eat or devoured most of what was put in here which is a combination of the maggots and the worms which help break down food substance which is part of the system the cycle of life which uh, goes the adage again life begets life okay life begets life So, you have life, and you have a sub-life. That's why at the end of all my, I try to do it at all of, at the end of all of them. I'm going to say more, more life to all. I mean, if it's, if, if people just live to their natural life I see a lot of them back there you see it back here I just grab a little handful and dump them in grab another handful and dump them in of course they have no eyes they just gorging so this is the amount I got now, take it to the fish, they'll have a good time. Okay, I was going to put the camera on the tripod, but I changed my mind because we can see this just like this. I'd rather put them over here. As you can see, just dropping them in, a little bunch, and watch them go at it. Like the water levels kind of low try to leave it up to about here so I don't know I need to add some water but in the meantime we shall unload the maggots Swallow them just right up. Set one on the rock. And it fell down. You should search and get it. Look at it in his mouth. See the one right in the center? It's got the right in his mouth. He should show us it again. There you go. See that dark thing inside of the mouth? That is a you say maggot. Eventually they'll eat all of them. Okay. That is, I guess we call it the maggot run. More life to all, less life to none. Amen.